Some circus excitement today at the Sarasota Bradenton International Airport. SNN Local News anchor John Hill explains what it has to do with a planned stunt next summer. 60 years ago, Sarasota turned out for Main Street parades with lions and tigers and circus wagons and calliopes. Well, today, that tradition may have been renewed just a little bit with the return of Nick Walinda. High wire performer arrived fresh from the Charlotte Speedway, where he had thrilled race fans with a typical walk over the racing facility. City and county officials met Walenda along with fellow circus performers, both young and old. The Sarasota mayor presented the 33-year-old a picture of Nick's wire walk between two Sarasota high-rise buildings, while the county commission chairwoman met Walenda halfway on the wire to present a proclamation. We, the board of county commissioners of Sarasota County, Florida, do hereby proclaim October 19, 2012 as Nick Willenda Day. Just as his circus heritage brought fame and fortune to Sarasota, so has Willenda after crossing Niagara Falls last June. But he says it's great to be home. It's just an honor. It's an honor to see this many people from the community support me. It was an honor to see all the people that were at Madison's watching that walk live. And again, this is the city I love, and it's just an honor to be back home. It's exciting to be back home, and I can't wait to uh, enjoy the community again, enjoy the beaches. In coming months, Walinda will be performing with Circus Sarasota that now also operates the Sarasota Sailor Circus. We're really proud of the students of Sailor Circus. They achieve so many things. You know, the, the self-esteem that goes from the program, uh, it's just amazing to see the kids when they graduate, become doctors, become CPAs, become lawyers. It's just incredible. Tickets for Circus Sarasota go on sale November 1st. It's been a very exciting morning here at the Sarasota Bradenton International Airport. For SNN Local News, I'm John Hill. Thanks a lot, John. Now, Nick Walinda will try to walk across the Grand Canyon in June of next year, and this time he says he will not wear a safety harness.